Thanks for tuning into the Texas Scratch King channel. In this video legendary dogman Ozzy Steven talk about his grand champion Virgil Rom. Ozzy begins. Virgil was born in a litter of four and was the last one to turn on. We tried rolling him at 18 months but he was not interested. Our efforts to roll Virgil did not succeed until he was two years old. In his first roll he fought against a hard biting Eli dog who hit two arteries within four minutes. Virgil retaliated by destroying this dog within the next six minutes. In the next roll, Virgil came off the chain against a big strong opponent of boomerang breeding. Who was conditioned. And 30 minutes later the owner picked his dog up. Virgil had done considerable damage and was about to put him away. Big Brad contacted me and set up a match with friends of his at 49 pounds. First match. Ted and Frank vs. Ozzy Stevens. When released Virgil barnstormed his opponent called Harley from the first minute and never let up until Ted picked up at 28 minutes. Virgil never got a mark on him. Second match. Frank Rocco called to inform me that Mike So. Had a two-time winner called Kane that nobody would match. He explained Big Brad back down from him with his loco dog. I called Mike and we agreed to match at 48 pounds. On the day of the fight I couldn't get Virgil to empty out. We walked him over and over to no avail. Mike so looked at his dog and then at Virgil and said he wanted the forfeit and wasn't going to fight at all. I tried to get him to change his mind. But I could not. My right hand man was there. His name was Bob Bryan and tried to negotiate with Mike so after plenty talking Bryan came back over to me and said that Mike so was ready to get in the pit with his dog. I asked him how did he do it. He said, it was easy you he just set a time limit on the match. That is the fight was still going on at 45 minutes. I would have to concede and give the fight to Mike so. And Kane. I thought this was crazy and I didn't like it. As Brian would always give advantages away in all his matches like giving away 3 or 4 pounds in all his matches. But I thought it was better this way than not to match at all. When the dogs were released Kane showed ability and bite. But the more pressure he tried put on Virgil. The faster Virgil fought and the harder he bit. This match was taking place high on top of a hill. The barn sat out in the open with no shade. Humidity was high and Kane turned at 20 minutes. When handled and released, Kane started out. And Virgil shot out of his corner. Hitting Kane in the chest so hard that he drove Kane's back end to the floor in a sitting position. They were both biting good. But Virgil was clearly getting the best of it. I looked for a handle and got it. I scratched Virgil and he pounded Kane in his corner. Virgil was now biting hard on the nose, chest, shoulders and stifles. Kane to scratch again at 28 minutes. Virgil met Kane in the middle of the pit. But at the last second. Sidestepped him taking a leg hold and running right by him. Flipping Kane over. Virgil was fighting an extremely fast pace and doing damage. I called Byron as I was worried about making the time limit. How much time do we have? I asked. Brian replied it was now 32 minutes. I got a handle in back of the pit. Virgil went into a foul hold and once again I called to Brian, how much time do we have? Brian called out 36 minutes. I got a handle immediately and when Mike so. Released Kane. He fell in his corner and was counted out at 38 minutes. This fight made two for Virgil. Bob Brian and Greg Garnett contacted me quite some time later and they said they had a match hooked up against Grace's champion Elmo which was a litter mate to grand champion Mickey and grand champion Trouble. I was the second match at this convention. Chicken Man Dave fought first and lost. It was his barn and his scale. When I weigh. The scale was gone. I asked Chicken Man where the scale was and his reply was that he was not letting anybody use his scale. It all sounding fishy to me. But I put Virgil on the scale to weigh him. Our match was set up at 49 pounds. The scale said Virgil was 2 pounds light at 47 pounds. When I asked for a test weight. My opponent tied a string around a barbell and hung that around the scale to verify the scale was right. I said, bullshit, as I weighed my dog in the last week and had a certified test weight in four different scales and Virgil was on the weight on all of them. What this meant was my opponent was two pounds overweight. But with all the arguing. I said the hell with it. Let's get it on. Virgil met Elmo in his corner and Elmo popped an artery in Virgil's muzzle and another one in his shoulder. By eight minutes Elmo had Virgil down. But Virgil was deep into the chest from the bottom. When under pressure. Virgil seemed to lose his temper and sure showed it this day. For at the 8 minute mark. He came off the bottom with Elmo's chest in his mouth and he pressed Elmo over his head. Elmo's front legs fell over Virgil's back while his legs were suspended in mid-air. Virgil then threw Elmo to the pit wall. He made a flurry into the throat for a couple of minutes and switched to a belly and kidney hold. Virgil had unusually long fangs and he buried them up to the gum lines in his kidneys. Virgil left loose and then repeated this procedure two more times. 
After that Elmo was not fighting back. His owner gave up the fight at 30 minutes. But his dog died a short while later. This was win number 3 for Virgil. Fourth fight I was called by Frank Bunce to match into champion Chison who was a four-time winner. He was owned by Swango and Sears bred by K Gaines. In this fight Virgil caught in his corner and popped an artery with the first five minutes. It seemed that every time Virgil touched him, he drew blood. But champion Chison was game and determined. Virgil had a rough time with him but was slowly breaking him down. By 40 minutes, ch. Chison was in bad shape. Swango conceded at 52 minutes and champion Chison died right after the fight to make this win number, 4, for Virgil. The fifth fight was against Phil's Little George who was a two-time winner and a deep game dog. Virgil experienced some kidney problems in the fourth fight and in the last two weeks before this match the kidney problems came back. Virgil started out fast and tore a gaping hole in Little George's chest. Within the first 10 minutes it looked like he was going to put him away. Then he heated up probably because of the intense kidney infection. Little George started coming back into the fight and got Virgil down for a little while. But the more George tried to put on Virgil, the worse Virgil bit him right back into the gaping hole that he opened in the beginning of the fight. As they were standing up battling it out. You could see the blood dripping out of his chest like you turned on the spigot. I had been dripping like this from the beginning of the fight. Little George had weakened and went down. He had a hold of Virgil's leg. Virgil was chewing on his head to get him off and it sounded like he was chewing on his knuckle bone. Phil conceded at 43 minutes to make this win number 5 for Virgil. He was 6 years old. And I sold him to, Solo, formerly with STP Kennels where he lived until he died at 11 years old. Rest in peace he was a true warrior of the pit. Thanks again for listening to the Texas Scratch King channel please don't forget to subscribe. Like and share this video if you value the content. And be sure to press the notification bell icon. Until the next time my friends as we always say never. Submit to life and keep scratching every time.